King Charles III was booed out of Parliament. Now, he received quite a reception even when he was given his speech. Now, it has been more than 70 years since a king opened Parliament. The last time it happened was in 1950. It looks like the United Kingdom is tired of someone coming to lead out of just being part of the bloodline. So now they want to have a republic. So you're going to see many people holding posters of not my king. And one lawyer explained that he was warned by the police to say if he was going to hold such a post like that, he was going to be taken by the police. And he says he feels so good just to be able to do this. It doesn't go without saying this procession is filled with some strange traditions as you're going to see and hear so and also give you a, gl a glimpse into the king's speech and let me read the clips and i'll be back <laughs> My lords and members of the House of Commons, it is mindful of the legacy of service and devotion to this country set by my beloved mother, the late Queen, that I deliver this, the first King's speech, in over 70 years. In over 70 years. The impact of COVID and the war in Ukraine have created significant long-term challenges for the United Kingdom. That is why my government's priority is to make the difficult but necessary long-term decisions to change this country for the better. My minister's focus is on increasing economic growth and safeguarding the health and security of the British people for generations to come. My government will continue to take action to bring down inflation, to ease the cost of living for families and help businesses fund new jobs and investments. My ministers will support the Bank of England to return inflation to target by taking responsible decisions on spending and borrowing. These decisions will help household finances, reduce public sector debt, and safeguard the financial security of the country. I, I wrote Not My King because, of course, I was told yesterday by the police that I wasn't allowed to write that, and if I did, I'd be arrested. And now it's great to be able to do that and to stand here peacefully expressing my opinion and exercising a very ancient British right that I think we're all entitled to. We're at the political centre of power where the king came yesterday to say that he's the new king and we're his subjects. And we're here to say, actually, we disagree. <laughs> we politely and very respectfully disagree with you. You're not my king. These guys have been searching for explosives in the Houses of Parliament, but why? King Charles just gave his first King's speech in Parliament. The event kicks off a fresh term for politicians and it comes with a load of old and unusual traditions. Before the King arrives in Parliament, the yeomen of the guard, that's the royal bodyguards, need to search the cellars under the building. They've been doing this ever since Guy Fawkes tried to blow up King James I when he opened Parliament back in 1605. Now meet Black Rod, both a job title and the name of the staff that she's holding. Sarah Sarah Clark is the first woman to ever hold that role. She uses the black rod to knock on the door of the House of Commons and summon MPs to come and listen to the King's speech. But as MPs head off to hear the King's speech, not all of them will be there because there's one more strange tradition. One MP is always held hostage in Buckingham Palace. It's to ensure the monarch's safe return, but King Charles can rest easy. These days, the measures are purely ceremonial. I think I was doing okay, very fine, until I hit the hostage situation. Anyway. <laughs> Interesting. Well, as you can see, the, the, the people could not be stopped from writing Not My King. And did you even hear like a children booing in the background? Uh, man, I'm, it's it's sad for this king. So guys, I would like to know, are you in support that um, the United Kingdom should become a republic uh, where people would have to now hold the power or 
would you rather it remains a monarchy as it has been make sure you comment below you guys i'll be back in another video and even i subscribed remember to subscribe